Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Nafiana Mpayatia Maker or just Dr. Mpaya. If you are new here, you are welcome. And if you are not, um, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, please do share the video with others that they may also subscribe. Um, my target for now is to have 50 subscribers. So thank you so much to all the people that have subscribed so far. And please uh, share with others so that we can reach 50 then we can reach 100 and on and on and on for this video i want to discuss something that is very common during the cold season and that is um pain in the um in the wound or in the scar that has healed or a wound that has healed just from the scar whether it's a scissor wound or just an operation wound or it's a, a wound that was uh, gotten from a playing sport or um, an accident or whatever it is. So wounds usually tend to uh, be more painful or scars rather tend to be more, more painful during the cold season. And so in this video, I will discuss why that is and how you can deal with that kind of a problem if you are experiencing that during this cold season. So, to begin with, the, the, the reason why most wounds uh, or most scars are painful during the cold season is because during the cold season, your muscles tend to contract. It's, um, um, it just automatically happens. And so, because your muscles are contracting and so you feel more pain, they are pressing on the nerves that um, make you feel pain. So, because of that, you tend to be uh, to, to, to be in pain most of the time yeah so what you can do about such kind of a problem if you are experiencing this is that number one keep warm wear enough warm clothing um, cover yourself whether it's um, um, an abdominal wound or an abdominal scar uh, in the joint in the leg wherever it is uh, make sure that you are covered and um, don't expose the wound or the scar um cover yourself keep warm the other thing that you can do is um compress the area of the scar with warm water so you can do a water bottle kind of uh, thing where you get a water bottle and compress on the on the scar and uh, allow the muscles to relax and allow the muscles to um be warm again yeah so that's another another way that you can prevent the pain and also relieve the pain then the other thing that you can do is um keep your body active move do not become dormant and just sit and just cry and say no i'm in pain so i'll just lie down in bed no you have to be active so get out of bed walk take a walk to the store take a walk outside and just keep your body active so that your muscles can be able to relax and um, as you are moving your body is also producing more heat and so your muscles are also going to your body is going to be warm so yeah your muscles are going to be to feel better and um, the scar will not uh, be as painful so those are the three things that I would advise people to do in this cold weather to prevent yourselves from having pain and feeling pain from your wound or from your scar and also to um, relieve yourself of the of the pain that you are feeling from the the scar yeah so i really do hope this has been helpful and uh, if you have any questions you can reach out to me and i will be sure to answer and um, offer some advice or some help wherever i can and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please you can follow me also on instagram dr nakumpaya and follow me on facebook as well dr nakumpaya and Siya Maker. and uh, thank you so much for watching until next time it's bye